Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Kuba Gretzky. Do we see the, the slides? Okay, I think it worked before. Okay, never mind. My name is uh, Kuba Gretzky. I am uh, an independent uh, contractor. I do reverse engineering. Uh, software developer, security researcher. Basically, I uh, started around uh, uh, 10 years ago. Uh, I started by uh, uh, reverse engineering uh, massive multiplayer online games. You know, these ones where you uh, hunt uh, boars and sit in a forest and just hack one by one. So basically, I made uh, an automation tool uh, that uh, allowed the player to move by himself. So, uh, and then it collected load and everything like that. But uh, today I want to talk uh, exactly about uh, my Wi-Fi project, uh, which is basically a penetration testing device, something uh, like the pineapple, but with a, a bit of a twist. Uh, so basically, uh, the whole presentation will be a live demo, so there is nothing that can go wrong. So, uh, as you can see on the stage, right over here. This is like a, a spider looking device. It's, uh, it's a proof of concept right now. I don't have like a custom case for it. So basically it just looks what it looks like. So, uh, so this is like uh, the main uh, control panel. And uh, so this thing actually uh, is for the red teamers. Probably there are a lot of pen penetration testers around here that may be willing to use this kind of thing. Uh, and basically, uh, you keep this thing in your backpack, or I don't know, in your. Uh, so you keep it concealed on yourself, and you can access it through your uh, mobile phone. So it basically, uh, you create uh, an access point on your uh, mobile phone. It connects back to you with the inbuilt uh, wireless adapter, and uh, then it allows you to SSH into it and to control it from your phone. Of course, uh, the the phone screen is. Uh, a little small, so uh, it's, it's for the people with good eyesight, mostly. So uh, right now it's connected to my uh, PC, and uh, this is the, the interface. So basically what I will try to do uh, here is that the option three is scanning all the nearby networks. This is uh, mainly for uh, doing uh, some recon on, on site. To, uh, I press enter to refresh all the all the networks that are around, so you can see there's a Salki, PPNT2, uh, things like that that you have running on your phone. And here are also the, the clients below. So the clients will also uh, show up uh, the probes as well, if you have like a device that is actively looking for, uh, for networks, that, that, so that can give you an idea what is your, uh, uh, wh where is the phone that you actually want to uh, hijack or, or things like that. And uh, from here, you can actually add uh, uh, the targets. So for example, uh, we pick the targets from all the clients that we have managed to, uh, to see. So I don't know, probably some of these are yours. <laughs> OK, let's maybe pick uh, something, I don't know, number seven. Uh, of course, I'm, I was told to not do any actual hacking because probably of some uh, leg legal reasons. Probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Okay, so uh, yeah, basically this is one feature. I'll try to keep it short because I don't have much time. Uh, so yeah, basically uh, you're able to scan for the devices, then you can create your, uh, you can uh, connect to the network that you want by entering the password, of course, and picking the SSID that you want to use. You can also create your own uh, access point that you will be uh, using so here, here is the interesting part. Uh, I worked on the way to tether the internet for, uh, for all the users that connect back to your access point. So basically, you can uh, share the internet connection uh, either from your phone or through the, uh, through the wireless uh, access point that uh, the other adapter is connected to. So basically, uh, one adapter is uh, for, uh, uh, for monitoring, so it uses the uh, scanning all the nearby networks. Uh, one is for active connection to the uh, to any network that you choose, and the third one is basically used for the authentication. If you want to de authenticate any client and make them connect back to your network, which you have a password for or not, 
uh, then it's uh, then it's perfect. So basically here, uh, yeah, I don't have I, I don't have actually uh, any uh, any internet connection on my on my PC. So I'll just Control C from it. Uh, so basically the the main, you may, you may say it's similar to, to Wi-Fi pineapple, right? Uh, but the main like, um, thing that is at its core of this tool is the HTTP proxy that I, uh, that I wrote in C++. And uh, I tried to make it as efficient as possible because uh, there were solutions like EtherCAP before. Uh, there is BetterCAP in Ruby, but I wanted my own to, uh, uh, that, that is written in C++, which is fast, efficient, and actually is able to uh, Pass all the requests and make them go through like uh, in a in a blast. So, uh, so th that thing you actually can see. So I'll actually demonstrate uh, how the attacks look like when you are already on the network on, or you have uh, clients connected back to you on your network that you have uh, hosted. So. Okay, so this is the interface that was made just in case the live demo goes bad. Okay, so this is uh, an active attack. You can make actually any uh, computer that uh, uses HTTP connection uh, to be redirected to the fake uh, browser update page. This is like custom made for uh, every browser, Firefox, Chrome, uh, Internet Explorer. You can see uh, in the address bar, there is downloadgoogle.com, so it looks pre pretty legit, except for the no HTTPS, naturally. This can be uh, tricky to implement, actually, I haven't found a way to do it. But uh, then it automatically downloads an uh, .exe file, then on Firefox looks like this. And basically, uh, this, is like a, this is like a stub, the, this .exe file. It is a custom uh, software that I, uh, that I wrote, this is, is simply a downloader. Which, uh, which downloads the real update from the internet, and after it downloads, it executes uh, PowerShell. So you can implement it with uh, uh, Empire uh, or something like that. It's pretty, pretty simple. And the other attack is, uh, this actually will redirect every visitor to uh, a fake Google login page. And uh, you can see uh, the domain is actually accounts.google.com W because it cannot be google.com because of HSTS protection, which actually makes all modern browser uh, force HTTPS on known uh, domains like Google, Google.com. It's, uh, it's like sent for in the response headers uh, from, the, uh, from the servers. So uh, basically I had to change uh, the domain to make it look similar but still uh, be different. Uh, do the DNS spoofing, then uh, SSL stripping, and uh, voila, it uh, actually proxies the real uh, Google sign-in page back to the, to the user. So actually when they log in, put all their uh, credentials, the credentials are intercepted and as well the session token cookies. So then you have full control over the, the person's account. So basically you can even connect from a different, uh, different uh, IP address uh, and you can use the, the, the account uh, as, as its own. Yeah, so basically, I'll show maybe a bit more. How much time do we have still? Okay. Okay, so uh, do I have still something to show you? Sorry for the low quality of slides, but I had like one hour before the party yesterday to prepare it. So, uh, yeah, basically, you can also plug in a, a modem to it so that you can use the modem to actually share the internet connection. And right now, let's see if it connects. It's using WV dial. Yep, seems it worked or not. Yeah, sometimes, unfortunately, I have an issue with this feature, so. So basically, my, uh, my idea is to uh, present, uh, I don't know still uh, what to do with this tool, so uh, I may release it at some point or I may not, and uh, basically it's, it will be for, uh, to help, uh, to be used by uh, penetration testers uh, to ease their, their job, and basically uh, I wanted to show it to you, uh, 
to get feedback from you, just uh, so that you can tell me what else would you like me to implement or things like that. Of course, I, will, I plan to add a responder to it, to uh, intercept the SMB uh, requests and things like that. Uh, and yeah, we have uh, some time. Uh, yeah, okay, final slide. No, no, no. Oh yeah, and also important thing, uh, there's uh, the, the other project, Evil Jinx, that I uh, released uh, a couple of weeks ago and made a big update the uh, day before yesterday. This actually, uh, the thing that I showed you for proxying uh, the, the real Google website and capturing the credentials and with the cookies, this is actually the method that uses the Nginx server to, uh, to do it remotely. So if you, are, if you like, you can check it out, it's, it's, it's free and uh, completely module. So uh, thank you. Uh, do you have any questions? Okay, first question here. Um, have you thought about or maybe already added a WPS screen? Uh, WPS, uh, yeah, actually uh, there is also, I haven't showed it, but uh, there is a Wi-Fi uh, wi uh, cracker uh, that is actually with my own updates because it hasn't been updated for, I don't know, several years and uh, it actually does the, the river uh, to crack the WPS uh, things. Also, it captures the handshakes and uh, things like that. So, yeah, it basically does everything by itself. Yeah, unfortunately, too many people still have that trick on like, Yeah, exactly. But it depends, like, what kind of router you have to make it exploitable, so. Three, two. No more questions? Okay, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and uh, hit me up uh, afterwards so uh, that I can, uh, you can give me some feedback, probably.